Hi. Hi, welcome to the Mansa Center. I am Ravi Menon. We want to continue with part two of a discussion. The last time around in part one, we talked about using integration to find arc length. We want to continue, except that in part one, we uh, talked about equations of curves given in Cartesian form and in parametric form and we derive some formulas to find arc lengths. So in this part 2 which is a which is an extension of the previous video we want to talk about finding arc length using integration again except that now the equation of the curve is going to be given in polar form. Okay, I've drawn a little picture here on the right uh, to give an idea of what we're going to talk about. Uh, we are dealing with, we're trying to find the length of arc PQ. And we're going to call it S. Okay? And theta, okay, theta is going to take. Um, well, if you want, you can say theta is going from alpha to beta. So we are quite familiar with uh, alpha and beta and theta because these are the standard um, notations here yeah, that we use when we deal with uh, polar coordinates. Okay, great. Okay, let me write it here. Okay, theta going from alpha to beta. Great. Let's start slowly. If you're dealing with polar form, okay, x will be equals to r cos theta and y will be r sin theta. Now, if you're not familiar with these things, then you might want to review your polar coordinates first before you come back and listen to this video. Okay, x is r cos theta and y is r sine theta let's go ahead and find dx d theta so follow carefully dx d theta will be equals to write down the first term differentiate cos theta you will get it as minus sine theta plus write down the second term cos theta and differentiate r with respect to theta and you'll get dr d theta okay dx d theta write down r differentiate cos theta okay we are differentiating cos theta with respect to theta so we will have negative sine theta and then we have a cos theta here and we are differentiating r with respect to theta so we'll get dr d theta good then let's write this properly we'll have um, cos theta dr d theta minus r sine theta okay next let's deal with dy d theta do the same thing write down the first term r differentiate sine theta with respect to theta you will get cos theta then write down sine theta and you differentiate r with respect to theta you can write it as dr d theta okay so back to what i spoke about in the previous video ds squared will be equals to dx squared plus dy squared okay now I need to use this so I need to write it down in some separate place let me write it here okay the x d theta okay I need to erase this I'll have cos theta dr d theta minus r sine theta and then I have dy d theta that will be r cos theta plus okay sine theta dr d theta okay i'm keeping this here because i need to use it so i'm going to erase the board in a minute great okay have i copied everything down correctly yeah 
great. So, coming back to our expression here that I said is extremely useful, ds squared equals to dx squared plus dy squared. So, you can imagine we are going to divide throughout by d theta squared. Okay, so we will have ds d theta whole thing squared will be equals to dx d theta the whole thing squared plus dy d theta the whole thing squared. Okay, now we are going to write this as ds. Okay, let me just write it here. ds will be the square root dx d theta all things squared plus dy d theta all things squared and don't forget to bring up the d theta. Okay, now again, yeah, this is a very important line. You take the square root, then you'll have a square root of this expression on the right hand side. And then this d theta, you can bring it up, and this is what you will get. Okay? Are we done? We are not done yet. We need to uh, plug in what we have for dx d theta and dy d theta, and you have to clean up the algebra. So let's do that. Okay? Let's do that. So, dx d theta squared. Let me write it here. Will be equals to cos theta dr d theta minus r sine theta squared. Okay. And dy d theta all things squared is going to be sine theta dr d theta plus r cos theta all things squared. I'm just copying this down from here. Okay, dx d theta whole thing squared and uh, dy d theta whole thing squared. You can see from there. Okay, now we need to add them up. Yeah? We need to add both of these. When you add this, let's do that here. dx d theta dy d theta So what you can do is you can uh, take your time and clean this up, the algebra. Let's see how fast we can do it. We have a dr d theta here. We have a dr d theta here. We're going to square it. And there's a sine theta and a cos theta. So we can write dr d theta, whole thing squared, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Okay. And then we have the intermediate term. I have a 2r sine theta and cos theta times dr d theta. And I have a 2r cos theta and sine theta dr d theta. What I can do is, let me continue here, okay? Let me write 2r dr d theta. In brackets, I'll have minus sine theta cos theta. Okay, let me erase this, I don't need this. Okay, minus sine theta cos theta from here, and I have a plus cos theta sine theta. If you can't see this, what you need to do is to go ahead and expand this on your own. Expand it out, and then you'll get this is your first term, this is your second term. You have one more here though, let's do that. I've got, this is going to be negative r when I square it r squared. Here I have r squared, so I can write it as r squared, uh, sine squared plus, okay, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. No magic here, okay, I'm pretty good at expanding, so you can do this at your own, uh, but be very careful, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1, so this is gone, okay, that's gone. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1. That's also gone. Minus sine theta cos theta plus sine theta cos theta also gone. Good. Now we are in business. Okay. So dx d theta squared plus dy d theta squared becomes dr over d theta whole thing squared plus 
R squared. So now, let's bring everything in. Okay? This line becomes ds equals the square root of r squared plus dr d theta whole thing squared d theta. Okay? This d theta is here. dx d theta squared plus dy d theta squared. We are replacing that with r squared plus dr d theta squared. Now, introduce the integration symbol and we are done. Okay? So the formula given in your books, you will find, okay, introduce the integration symbol, you will get S equals the integral, theta equals to alpha to theta, oops, theta equals to beta. Okay, let me write that again, okay. We are going from alpha to beta, so we start with theta equals to alpha to theta equals to beta, and I have R squared plus dr d theta, whole thing squared, d theta, and we are done.